Base Clan on the T side. Cold Zera into the cutout. He's got support here in middle. Uh, he would have more if Poison wasn't smoked off, but maybe he needs no help. Maybe he's got it all himself. At least the first three kills. Poison regains vision. Olaf's like, guys, hello? Don't, don't tell me Complex you're going to win this map. Okay, let me call back. Remember when uh, Complexity don't have played this map recently, but mm -hmm. remember when it got picked against them yes. and Config was on the team and yes. Flame F and Config did Bully Bros, yes. ran down mid and killed NIP outside of B Every over round. and over and over again, even though NIP had picked the map into them because they didn't have playtime on it. It was like 13-2 or it something. It was so fun to watch. They don't have the Config, but they still got Coldera in middle. And Rakdap in the CT positions is just by kind of shoulder peeking, swinging a little bit as well. So you look just as fast to them as they do to you. Giving it the jiggle. A little foreshadowing, man. Blamef did just run into... Yeah, the route down mid. Did he? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. He ran into, uh, he ran into caves. So this time they'll give um, mid open. And of course... Man, it's been so long we actually casted Ancient. So we've got uh, Donut Control here from uh, Cold Zera. And he was just in pocket at mid in that previous round. Rain is honestly really sick at both dealing with this, uh, dealing with Cave here. Um, actually, I, love it. I like Phase's call out, which calling it Maze. Maze, I've been yes. watching the comms videos, by the way. Shout out e to Gerga's YouTube video. You should go and check those out. Oh, oh Cold timing. Zera, you're nasty. He lets two guys cross, attacks the back, snaps over towards Brokey, but he's not able to finish it all off. Rain and Brokey in the 2v3. Esetag is pushed up into Cheetah. Yeah. And, yeah, unexpected position for Rain to deal with. Maybe Brokey can pull off the Miracle. But he's got a player already deep on sight, so I like this. Little smoke, little misdirection. Brokey trying to work his magic. Brokey's just that one star far away in the universe in a sea of darkness. Hmm. We are not alone. Mm -mm. The oh, Brokey is. Yes. It's on the ground. Never had a chance, man. That's a win. JKS was close enough to hear the Oz it e, matter. And then throw it again. We're Counter-Strike players. Uh, I'm going to do it. And will will Complexity do this? Well, it depends on if they run into Brokey, right? He has that oh. solo AK. Is I it? This is what we're talking about, okay? Oh, well, it's not supposed to go like that. Blame F. The aggression through the maze. It's meant to stun them. Instead, he gets stunted by the up-close and personal Raindeeg. It's a big risk. I just did a video on, uh, you know, is Blame F evolving? Because he pointed out his own stats that he's been going for a lot more opening kills. At least he was at EPL. Okay. Uh, and he did, definitely. Uh, but that, that's an interesting where, this is an interesting spot where on T side, not as much. But, you know, here on the CT side, getting a lot of attempts. All right. Looks like that plant is going to be... So oh, no. no. Wow. That's not supposed... Oh! Taken right back. Brokey pushing in aggressively to the back of the temple. Deals with that. Nice spray by JKS to get that fadeaway shot onto the bomb planter. Looked like he had FaZe Clan by the neck. Maybe Kerrigan can finish it off. Missed some Deagle shots, but will recover. Able to get the better of Poison. Essetag into the one versus three, and he looks to redirect after clearing out temples. Now, this is the right play in my mind. <gasps> They're looking for... Oh, exactly. they clear it. As soon as they clear it, though. Yeah, he's, he's out, and then I think he's just turning this into a save. Run away. Yeah, this is an AUG to save, which is huge. You know, back in the day, 1v2s, even if it was very unlike all oh. on train. Or Cobble. Or NBK on cash. NBK on cash. Where Rain has found, uh, on the CD side especially, he's found a lot of openings and gaps and little things about the cave and fighting it, defending okay. it. That are really great. We'll look for those angles in the future. Yeah, I just uh, the more the more sample size we get, the larger sample size we get on ancient, the better in my mind. Look at this. He, what is this? Yeah, he's just workshopping. I mean, what is even? What can you even pop? No way. Stop that. Can you even see something there? I don't know. He's just trying to. I need glasses. Yeah, I got to stand closer to the monitor. You know, Raid's like half an inch from his screen. If you don't have a ten on your nose, you're not gaming hard enough. <laughs> Smoke grenades over the site. This is going to block off the 1B player in S attack. Oh, he gets tagged up through it as well. But he still stands. That was Olaf taking some grenade damage 
They're very wary of this deep smoke. I think uh, very nice conditioning in, in sm or very nice like uh, utility usage from phase on top mid this round. Yeah. Uh, they came out middle the moment their initial smoke was fading, and there was a player who pushed up very aggressively to try and take that space. They saw it was for free, and then when they shifted to the B site, they went, as you saw, with that deeper smoke. Really, I think, kind of drew complexity to staring at basically nothing. They were afraid of the boogeyman. A lot of this game plans leaning to the right side of the map around cave early on and uh, taking B control, and that's a good idea, it looks like, for FaZe. It's complexity, not... It's not their one... All right. All right. Ooh. Dangerous. Dangerous game. To go crossing into cutout like that. Cold Zera can't quite manage versus Kerrigan. So we've got the 5v4 early on. FaZe not really afraid of fighting in mid these last couple of rounds. Maybe knowing that they have the weapon advantage kind of bolsters the confidence. As it should be. Brokey's going to catch us a tag. The base of ramp. If he continues on. A little bit of a game of chicken here. As a tag now posted, but... Damn it, Brokey. Sharp. Give the man a chance. He's going to go sprinting forward into the depths of the site. You guys head to Sponge's Twitter at the moment. I saw that he was getting nerdy on Ancient. Yeah, they, those guys play a lot of CS. And uh, beautiful Molotov executes coming out of the boys. I saw Dinko and Rush and mm. Chad in the server. Fair, fair play to them. They had the executes before the map was even in the pool. 100%, man, yeah. We were we were running that back in the scrimtings. Scrimtings. Uh, Asu, post scrimtings. Oh. You said you wouldn't unpin it from your Twitter, by the way. Don't turn your back on CS, Asu. We are watching. We always will be. Don't you forget where you came from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rise Nation. Back when NA had a chance. <sighs> 84 years ago. So far, so clean here from FaZe. Like that entry from Brokey as well. He flashes for himself, but he's also combined with a deep flash from running. He was just running out mid almost every single round, despite eating a lot of grenades. And I think the way it's looked at is because the map can be so CT-sided sometimes. Why not take some damage, look for an opening if you can, just to get that 50-50 duel and win some control back early on. Nice flash. Oh, this also stops a push down the ramp. You can see the CT are so desperate for some map control somewhere. Yeah, and this was actually prevented by Rain. So as much as the CTs want it, you saw how desperate, or not even desperate but how adamant rain was at oh. stopping that deep aggression because he ran through a molotov took 70 damage nearly all for the sake of throwing his own piece of utility which did hinder blame f from being able to come out and charge forward so instead yeah. blame's going to remain tucked inside cheetah rain is a tank right now yeah but it's this this they want this control over towards b so badly he just won't give it up it's a tank with broken armor Ooh. Oh, we talked about Brokey's flash, but that one was even better. Now they're going to go aggressively out from the A site, and oh no, Olaf taking everybody's head, including his own teammate. But he's put himself into the 1v2. This would be a big old Olaf clutch. Oh, he's found the timing. I don't. If he just clears left, then he's got himself an open A route, but uh. he doesn't check it. However, he is now back to back with JKS. Anything is possible at oh, this point. Look at them working together to clear out all these angles. It's just beautiful. If only they could communicate. Oh, we're getting weird. We're getting freaky. And that's a plant. They're, they're not going to be ready for this. This timing works out, even though Olaf doesn't realize the opportunity that has just been missed. That sword cuts both ways. Now it's a matter of winning this duel versus Blame. If Blame oversteps his stay, then Olaf's got him. Oh, but Blame F ready for the fight inside of the maze. And that is Complexity's third round win. Mm. You know, I was thinking, like, he, he, he thought he had the timing on the rotation in. So I was like, not sure if you would clear uh, the flank, but he could have. Uh, and, and in this map, it's a lot more just because of the, you know, side-by-side -side tunnels and passageways. Similar situation, but different plane of existence. This is much better already for the CTs to get some damage off, not commit a player, because so far the player that they've been... What is this? The player that they've been committing every single time has died. Ooh. Oh, Got they... a second player in the corner. Yeah, yeah, this is an interesting look. Yeah. Essatag not turning from the flash because he knows that Blame can bolster the hold. Oh, Kerrigan. Yeah. He throws that flash in. This is a big fight. 
Battle of the IGLs and Blame's bigger. Man advantage established here for Complexity. And the fire is going to force him backwards, but Cold Zera and Poison getting aggressive inside of mid to take a man away and to force what's left of FaZe into the B site. They've got two players already in the depths of this. JKS, that first line of defense, and as he gets flashed, that actually plays out well for him. He tucks and catches Twists off guard. Brokey able to kill one, but at what cost? Set up inside of the cave that they just used also worked very well as a different look. Damn, okay. That's a quick opening kill as well. That's blessed because now you can do plays like this and uh, keep it fresh for the next round. Flame in the Ooh. fire. He got touched by the hand of God. Mm. <laughs> you just did like a cobra arm in real life. Yeah, yeah, I forget sometimes that people can't see that me. That was funny. No, it helps with the speaking actually. Uh, oh man, this is, I, I'd be so scared to hold an angle like this just because of the weird elevation changes. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. think he's got it. Oh! Oh! oh he... Yeah, he doesn't yeah. shoot! <laughs> oh my god, he didn't shoot. It's just discomfort. I think he must have looked at radar there yep. for a second. Had to be. But... We've all been there. Just not quite on this stage. Oh, this Poison, though. One. Let's see if he can be on the recovery because this is looking good. Oh, he sees him. He sees him, but he can't get him off of the bomb plant. So it does go down regardless. And that's a huge moment for Olaf because if you check out his teammate's HP, Olaf is going to have to be the playmaker, you'd think. And he's deciding to come back at this. Going to cost him. Poison so prepared to drop him. Eight health for the 1v3 attempt on Brokey. And he may have bested Blame early, but Blame F did substantial damage to really prime his teammates to take this 5-3 lead. And as that bomb gets defused, Poison able to stick this, covered by JKS. That's a... Ooh. Cold Zera this time. Now he's coming at it from top mid. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's the solo AK. Second time we've seen Brokey tasked with the raid boss AK play. And they've got the execute to try and stampede into B, but S a tag, not hard cleared by Twist. Now he's got this like awkward space behind the smokes to try and play with teammates inbound, trying to keep their opponents at bay. And don't forget that AK is still in play. And see how they, they both try to connect to take over the back of the B, so and now they can play a bit more passively if they want to, at least and then they know they can fall back. Oh, well, they don't have a... Rifle advantage, however. Kerrigan tucked in an awkward position. Does some damage, but doesn't get the kill. But Brokey's been hot. Gets shut down. Was 13-5 and five at that one. Olaf, it's his turn to try and finish this clutch. But Poison from the same... Oh, nice flash. Oh, we get spotted. Oh, he almost <laughs> adjusts for that. For a second. For a second, I thought Olaf was getting robbed. Well, they, they find the tactic to deny that push. So they found the exact moment to pull that off, and that works. And the, it looks like they're going to refresh the play, which is always a cute thing to do. But the T's still have kind of an advantage with the split route towards the site. So it's going to be hard for them to move up, and Poison's got to take a risk by opening himself up. <gasps> wow. That was a crazy moment of timing. I go down on B. Another punish on long B. Busted by Brokey. Not so easy tag. And they get through the A site. Now, I don't, I mean, they, they can go and flank if they like to. Poison will come back towards the middle, but JKS isn't convinced about whether or not, or sorry, not JKS. Uh, Blame Math isn't convinced about whether or not it'll be the B site. But it, it's about to be. And it is wide open for the taking. Not to mention, if Blame dies here, then they've got all the rotators locked down. Kerrigan will be caught hopping. See if Blame can sprint back over. Yeah, already it's, considering I'm, it. I'm actually kind of surprised that they did this. That they just gave up B? I mean, they pushed through A, but they didn't respond by rotating at all. They right. just kind of froze in place and like, all right, well, hopefully they come A, I guess. But, you know, that seems so unlikely, especially right after they left totally. So maybe if they committed through the full flank, they would have had the info, mm. then the Kerrigan killed, and they could make a, a hold go down on the B site. But that made so much sense for FaZe to go be in that spot, and not, not really any response from complexity. One of the things I do enjoy about Ancient that I think we're getting an example of so far is like the ability to, to clash in so many different spots at a spawn. You know, we've, yeah. we've seen it obviously with caves, 
pushing Cheetah into the upper B. Uh, this last round was the first example of it happening over on the A site, right? And and over in A main, we don't always get those kinds of, of initial sides hard. I will get a fight, and if I even get five rounds in the half, I'm feeling pretty decent with it. And if they don't go mid, I got way, way too much info for them to deal with. Good smoke in the corner to put out the fire and allow for a little bit of a jiggle. Kerrigan doesn't see any CTs trying to push down onto their end of this. So he knows that they're still posturing back. Yeah, a is not the best site to go to right now, the amount of players out here. Now we'll head JKS inside site, cold Sarah moving back. Oh, they've got to rotate out actually. Poison playing in Donut. If you get swarmed, then suddenly you do not want to be JKS, but he doesn't get mollied. They call out the wrong position. He could line up so many bodies on this spray. This is going to be a big chance for JKS to be a massive landmine. Utility's still all around him, and he tries to time his peak perfectly. We had a bunch of players flash, two of which are boosted, but it's only one kill. Poison getting closer to the bomb site, able to turn back onto Kerrigan and at least lock off this part of the map. It's going to cause for a desperate situation. We know how hard it is to plant. Pressure's on cold. Poison able to stop it, but the bomb is still planted. S attack in with one, and it falls onto Twist in the one versus three. He's able to fall away from Temple. Tries to cut that MP9 off from CT spawn. Blame F, unknown position to Twist, but there it is! The oh, from Twifle work. From the magnificent Van Dulken. Aggressive A play from Complexity. We can see, of course, ill-equipped in this one. Just measly P250s. Soon to be the lesser $300 pistol. True. Why get one when you can get two? It's just math. But look at this. Prioritizing plant on B. S attack's gonna get. Oh, brokey. This is such a. This is like. Imagine getting shoulder peek oh and spawn. Oh, God. <laughs> and then someone actually is there. We call that position slug. The sweat. Yeah, slug. Because you've got a B one to You're sit slime. that deep in the water. Yeah. You gotta sleep with one eye open. You got a guilty conscience if you're holding angles like that. Are leeches slugs? Well, I don't want to get into this because I have no idea. Like, are they the same genus or something? Yeah. Phylum? Phylum. I have no idea. I mean, they... Slugs have, like, long eyes or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of ch snails do. Oh, it's snails. Are right. snails no, really, really struggle some game before this? So they failed to put out a Molotov here. So much action. So you can actually run because of the amount of nades that are going off on both sides. But it looks like there might not be any way out. They have to smoke their way back into the site. Cold Zero gets a lurk frag inside a maze. Smoke will go down. They may, maybe they can establish now four to four, but they give up a fair bit of control. And the teaser everywhere. Man, that was bedlam. An absolute clash down on the B site, off of the pause as well, right? That's the El Clasico. Take a timeout, make everybody think it's a big brain play. Then pump those muscles and go sprinting at them. But I do like that we then get this second flavor. This is, yeah. As we cross a minute and options are still open, it's the CTs who I think are a bit more constricted, right? They want to see an execute come because they don't have mid control. And the more, the longer they don't have mid control, the more they think and get paranoid that lurks can happen to them. And then they'll start second guessing their spots, which are actually fine right now. Um, Poison, however, has pushed towards A all the way down. And it seems like they're fine just gambling that phase will come back. But Kerrigan is pretty, pretty wise to this, and it looks like he might avoid the issue. However, we've got some counterplay with Poison actually looking to flank mid, potentially. I think he might have heard something, however. Yeah, but flanking mid, I think, would, like, just really leave, you know, that, that, that then A is over. No rotations at all. Pure gamble here oh from complexity. God. Poison's going to have to do everything. That's too much. That's too and much. And it's not even one of those moments where stopping the bomb plant's going to be enough. He needs to do more. As much as he possibly can! Oh. And how about that? Three kills in... Donut towards long is even better than that one. It's like really, really strong. And in that spot, the advantage he had was they didn't expect him to push, but they actually tactically were, you know, so far behind phase in that round, thinking-wise. But they can rely on him for that X-Factor spray down. Really, I think Complexity just don't feel comfortable at all rotating if they just don't have control of this. That's been their one tick, I feel like, that uh, FaZe are very aware of. Blaine with so much responsibility playing this far forward on his own. Anybody lurking outside of the B site could have just killed Blaine, and he knew it. 
but it's all in from phase on mid. Real pack mentality from the clan in this 14th round. They're going to use Kerrigan as the front runner. He'll go feel out Red Room. But he gets smoked off just as he gets into position to try and challenge CT spawn. And he's not alone, in fact. Not even close. He's got two more players next to him, and this could be the three players flanking CT into an A split. I think this is also going to hinge on the success of the A main entries. They're so aware of it. Blame's starting to consider that they may go elsewhere, but there's that trade frag. However, oh, down goes the CT hold. JKS with two. He shut down all... But obviously wasn't the right play, and that could be a defining moment in this game, considering we've got phase back on this uh, mixed buy. A force up in the last round. That's damage. S attack full blind. Twists will manage to find that kill. Cold Zera on the hot rotate, trying to get into the mix as fast as possible, but down goes Blame F. So now Cold, he's tasked to hold everything, and Rain's got himself a second. Oh, Jesus. Dude, B site just collapsed. Oh, but poison through the side of the smoke, getting the better of Rain. Fix those icons. He's peeking out. Trying to find another one inside of the site before FaZe Clan have a chance to get comfortable, but Kerrigan needs no comfort. He's got the kill. JKS 1v3 to close out the first 15. We were 8-7 at the end of the first half on Nuke before the total blowout in the second side. Complexity gunning for nine. JKS denying info from the temple. Trying to push in for this defuse, but uh, it's just not on his side. He's being pulled so thin, and now the health so low. A desperate stick at the five-second mark means he just doesn't have this phase. We'll keep this as close as can be. Now that they swapped to the defense, let's see why they picked Ancients. They trail by one, both in round count and map count. I feel like Complexity are going to struggle really hard on this half. Not because Phase should power up a lot. CD side, this half is already so close. This uh, is fast. Let's see what happens. If they've got any ideas for how to survive, you know, the artillery barrage. But uh, with a pistol, light utility, it'll take the edge off uh, for Complexity. They can win it. Still, I think it'll be tough. Ooh, I like this. little redirect through red. To help here. Olaf trying to stop it. Oh, it is Kerrigan to lend a helping hand, but S attack. Two headshots from him. Twist activates back sight. Clap back by JKS, and now it's on Brokey. He's got himself two, three, peaks, and almost has the fourth. It's into the 1v1 with Rain already through CT spawn, and JKS has no clue where he's coming in from. The timing, it's given away a chance, and Rain disengages. At least slightly. Ooh. Slight ancient, which is actually an interesting thing mm. considering the amount of clips that we've seen from him. Oh, well, I don't know if they'll like this one. Really fast A play. Mac 10s on the entry. Twist's going to try to counter this with an SMG of his own and Brokey. Deja vu. Same position, better weapon. Drops the bomb outside of the temple and decides to continue forward, but that could be their demise here. The deagles are deadly. Olaf recovers with one, but it's cold Zara. And we know he can clutch. Bomb's still on the ground for now. Crossfire set. Patience the name of the game. Oh, that approach is coming. Oh, there it is. Oh. His him. That was a very, uh, you know, nice setup for them to crunch on the A side. Even getting the entry there so quickly. With JKS rushing in in the second round. This is being held. But to no avail. And as quick as he pushes, he falls away. Brain then instead finding another head. And yeah, shout out to Rain for all the little smoke plays and little like things that he looks through on uh, both halves. And CD side, uh, definitely even more potent. You'll see more of it as he plays here uh, alone by himself a lot. Oh, that's huge. That's a bomb plant. Wait, yeah, that is an open site. Oh, he dropped the ball. Oh, 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 let's go. Wait up. Desert Eagle kills another. from all three of the remaining players. And because Blame didn't plant bomb, he decided to go that much further. Now he actually doubles back. Oh, my God. If they go through caves together, they can actually subvert the defense. But even just pushing anything, they know they've got two 1v1s. So instead of planting, wait. Sweaty, sweaty oh. CS. 
they get control of this, make sure the push doesn't come through. Also makes sense. They're still open a cave. No one's here to flank them for the moment. And now the, the spam is... Oh, they, they, actually, the spam's not fixed on this patch. They just have to come through that angle. Oh, but if he looks left and tries to flank ramp, then Kerrigan? Kerrigan's going to be primed for this one. And as long as he keeps playing busy, then we're going to see Twist close. Oh! <laughs> he said, no, nah, I'll do it myself. <laughs> what is... Oh, caught on the cross. And then Brokey right back with an off frag of his own. Straight to the 4v4. An exchange of utility to try and slow this down. Man, you gotta think that these opening kills are gonna catch up to phase eventually, but it hasn't happened yet. Yet. Walk out into middle. So many corners to clear for JKS. Feels like he just spotted him because he's hyper focused on that angle now. Oh, 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 oh. And he begins to look away, which could give a chance to Kerrigan. We've got the Feist. Oh, they got a second player coming up as well. Oof. And he dodges. Yeah, he's out. They still got the sniper control, and they know it's an early kill. Like, no rotation has come in to reinforce it at mid. JKS. Oh my god, he's going to have a field day because now the rotate fully countered. Complexity give chase to Kerrigan through Donut, and, well, they're going to find a ninth round for it. I thought because they got that, we had FaZe get the refrag so early that this was going to be another round complex to get that opening kill. Sick tactic, and then, you know, with the boost, and then let the round fall apart. 2 and 13. Three teammates on 10. But no real right-hand man for Brokey. Coldzera. Tucked very quickly. Kerrigan's going to come clear this, but weapon superiority. <sighs> Tough luck for Kerrigan. Now they're going to have a split defense. Two players per site. Mm. God, some ratty angles on this map. This is crazy. Yeah, the way that everyone's playing so far back on the T side. It's a smart move. I mean, of course. You know, avoid that unconfirmed damage early on. Do what you gotta. Take it from there. They go ahead and outpost here for cold. Pull one off of B site. And it's just so much pressure because people love to retake the ramp, especially in 4v5s. Mm -hmm. I feel like Brokey's already in a position where odds are he can survive if things go south on B. Yeah, but he also is the A player. So if they even get a whiff of this, then avoiding him is going to be a no-brainer. This is where I think Brokey needed to be kind of everywhere. Yeah. But with losing this opening kill, like, you know, it's tough now. Looks like the exact is coming forward. Rain dropped to 15, no damage the other direction. So Coldzera, very easy for him to run in here. He's got 22 health, but because he's already done that damage versus Rain, it's basically an even fight, and he could just let his other teammates flood beyond him. Smokes begin to go down, and Rain will get the better of at least Cold. Sprays into the pack, doesn't come out with anything extra, and S attack with the 2K to give Poison the space he needs for this plant. Confirmed round win, and tied game, folks. Tied Ten game. apiece. And maybe two more for free. Brokey's going to have this off. They're not buying behind this next round. That was the last chance. Brokey will have to do some keto, and exactly. he did his, you know, a great job as a stand in there. Cold Zero was also watching, and I believe, you know, like, uh, listening in on the practice time that, that we also had with NATO. So, even though Cold wasn't implemented, he was kind of piecing the picture together himself before being thrown into the equation. And maybe that's why they are exceeding the expectations set for their first official. Honestly, you can see the work on it. Uh, I was, I, I believe that Cold Zero really did take a time off, you know, in between a very stressful period of a, you know, playing on a team that had not the results he was looking for. But it's, uh, he, he's looking very, very impactful. Round after round, he's in a new interesting spot. Could be hopping in the game. Oh my God, he actually pulled off like three hops to displace the aim and create space. Oh, the Zeus, not today. Instead, it's complexity that looks... Uh, this is another buy where, you know, maybe they don't even want to do this. I feel like I'd want to have Brokey up on and off with full grenades. I'd be very scared of complexity, considering how slow they regularly play, mm -hmm. to try to win a low grenade round in particular. So this is a brave call from Kerrigan. Also, no A play. Yeah, no A play. They're, they're, they're taking a risk, which is what you need to do in a position like this. So they're trying to combine, get B control fast, but they already get punished. However, there's another push. Yep. I don't know if Rain will come out off this. Has to be Brokey. He has to go big. He gets the first frag for half of his health, fades away. Now maybe blame F on space creation goes further, but the thing is he has this bomb, so he's going to be anchored to the site. He's going to be tethered to this position. He can't go and clear out the corners.
He can't get that deep angle, so instead I feel like Complexity kind of banking on somebody stepping into the scope of Poison for somebody else. Oh, but Blame through the smoke, and then Poison able to catch Twists, sure enough. But Rain is the question mark. Rain remains ever-present inside this A-site. And while they kind of play all around him, he gets that very quick pick into Poison, sprays onto Blame F, and puts himself into the 1v1. The 1v3 attempt, all he needs to do is close versus Cold. And he leaves the bomb site, offering space for the plan. Cold Zera knows that he exited this exact route. Whoa, planning open to donut. He gonna, he's gonna be aware of the flank coming in then, surely. Well aware. Oh! Most of that exact. And there was obviously no one there. But here we are, complexity, 12 rounds. Phase on pistols fully, no armor, no nades. Not much more buffer. Soon we're looking at complexity sending phase down to the lower side of the group. As the tag clearing corners quicker than the sniper can. Maybe Brokey up close with the deagle, sprinkles magic on the play, flashbangs effective both directions. Oh, they all line up! Brokey! Tons of damage out of that one. Again, around they have no business winning, and the likelihood of everybody else rotating in, it should be all predicted from complexity. They're pulled apart piece by piece. But Brokey, for a moment, had three players on a skewer. Bro, he did like 900. <laughs> Obviously, showing they're not scared of that kind of play. A lot of teams just lean into B over and over again. That's the opening. Is that flat? Poison just kind of comes out pretty quick. Yeah, just didn't expect the op to be there. Yep. Uh, they hadn't gone mid a number of times, so I guess they it was just a, a very nice read from FaZe to be like, all right, this is the round they do take it, because Brokey could be using his time otherwise, pushing, uh, pushing on A where he normally is at, or taking some deep B pick. And uh, it's the double op adjustment, actually, which is a nice look for FaZe. They're, I'm sure they wouldn't expect this to be here, so they take the dry peak as the tag grabs that frag. Three up here for Cole. And that's a relief for Olaf. Tasked with the secondary op, bottom of the scoreboard, looking to kind of get his ball rolling. He was tagged by that peak as well, but he nails him to the side of ramp. And this should be a very good chance for FaZe to immediately extinguish Complexity's fire. It was FaZe for the opening three, Complexity back with five straight. And now Complexity on the 3v5. But Olaf, a second chance with the big green to stop this B hit, has to turn away from the flashbang, eats the additional one, and now he's just being kind of swarmed with utility. So oh. get out, play comfortable. Yeah, they're all in rotator spots now. He gets now. replaced by Brokey. They're all in rotator spots now. I mean, this V area is where they can try to pressure from the CT side behind the smoke, but this plant will go down. Oh, it rains inside of us. <laughs> Easy headshot versus the Aussie. Blame F gonna have to be activated, moves forward, tries to push back the front line on the retake, and he's got the cover of Cold. Brokey takes down Cold Zera, and Blame F's reload costs him. His hand's busy as Twist peeks in. They ain't look comfortable. No, not yet. Remember that weird part of history where everybody was wearing white powdered wigs? Mm -hmm. What was that all about? Yeah, and people were getting um, earworms. Ah. Yeah, okay. Because no. they'd be in the wigs, and then they go into your brain uh, and eat it from the inside. Uh, no. With a knife and fork. Gotta be careful when you're in the jungle. Bugs in abundance. That's the tag just gonna slowly crawl closer to the cheetah room. Flash just got caught on the bottom shelf there, so it wouldn't have blinded rain. You gotta be careful, man. This one, out. this little ramp that Cold's standing on sometimes yeah. catches grenades. True, true. I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. Again, the grenade protocol is very nice, super clean, pretty light, and they got him completely out of that spot. No chance to regress, and that's again a very uh, place that uh, both teams have really wanted to take control of. Olaf's gonna have to be the guy to stop it all this man. time yet again. Look at he can get smoked out in this spot. I, he, they just threw one but it's going to go past him. Oh, no, it doesn't. It does bounce off the walls. That's perfect. Oh, that's so perfect for this play. Now, all of a sudden, the guys on A site, like, you know that panic begins to sink in. 
Yeah, it's coming. But Brokey doesn't panic, Ooh. and he can't afford to because he just lost his support inside sight. Dives into the cover. Brokey, so quick with that op, at least taking down two players. It's not ideal, but considering the pressure he was under, it's something for his teammates to work with. And Olaf, he just won that op duel as Twists looks to trade back against Poison. JKS 1v2, and he's going to be split here inside of the donut, but he almost threads Ooh. the needle. So close. It had to be Olaf. It had to be the player who has struggled. It had to be the player who... ...on Brokey for the combat opping. That'll be a... An annoying one to have to reconcile for complexity, considering how well things went at first. Make control so early. No one to get them out. And Red, Olaf's position. And now another A attack. Brokey and a teammate both posted up behind a box. Molotov at both their forced. feet, waiting it out. The kills come through. Poison does it all by himself. Can he go one better? Bomb's gonna be planted. Oh. Spam shots over top of it. Olaf can't quite nail him. We've got Cold Zera nowhere to be found at the moment. Late mid lurk. And Rain also delayed. Doesn't decide to go through middle. So now Cold Zera, he transitioned into this like guaranteed post plant. That bomb gonna be planted for the left side donut peak. And that's if the retake even gets close enough for him to be needed. Because right now, Poison is a turret in the back of this bomb site. And Olaf misses his chance to better the counter sniper. Cold Zera, there's his impact, and they walk away. Ooh, money, their worst nightmare. Olaf has no money. He's gonna save the op at the very least. They're gonna be hunting hard here. And it looks like he probably will be able to save. Hear from Frey's amazing place from Brokey, but that's not enough. No, sir. Now they're going to have to call upon that extra X Factor. Double MP9. Best way to use them, get up close and personal. But we've seen Cold Zera tucked into Polly, sitting in this spot in anticipation of these pushes. This is interesting because now they're both playing on this side of, uh, uh, of the cave. They can get mollied for sure. But of course, if you're not approaching from mid, yeah, and if you don't expect a second player either, yeah, then you're going to molly the other side. So what will happen now? They've ISO'd one. Rain has to distract. And oh my god, alongside Twist, they've stopped it. Bomb included. A wide swing around. A smoke grenade down. And they've got Bomb in their possession. Yeah, that was a nice call. They still got it surrounded. The CTs will now start to make moves on all parts of the map. And it's at this point where Complexity have to go another level deep. They know that the Bomb is not in their control. What are the CTs going to do to press their advantage? There's no way Poison can use this AWP in such a tight space, right? He will snap it onto Twists. Low health for Rain. And he already fell back to the bomb site. So, in a way, FaZe just relying on stopping plants, offering back the bomb, leaving one player there to do exactly what he did, take one with him. Man, that was kind of a sick setup there on the CT side. 25 seconds, they're going to approach into the B side. I don't know if they commit here. Smoke comes down. Oh, they've got nowhere else to go, so it's either this or save. Peaks come past. Rain able to add one to the tally despite having nine... Officially on 30. How much more can he offer us in the waning few rounds of this second map of the series? Rain on a solo mission this time around. Bomb actually heading over towards the depths of B. While we could very well have a couple players facing on the A site, it has done a good enough job of drawing the majority of phase onto A. Even Olaf starting to leave. Hell, even Rain is departing the B site. This is a hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, they're going to punish so hard. We'll see Rain's making his move back. He's aware. In a position to have impact, but if they're going to let the smokes go down, let's see if the swing comes out. Oh, it's about timing on a spot like Ooh, this. They might forget about it. We'll see. Yes, oh, he's got bomb. Cold's up close. Ooh. Rain, oh. he's got three. A solo behold from Rain. Poison falls to twists, and this round falls at the feet of FaZe Clan, tied at 14 each. No, not naive, this Rain. He leaves for a moment when all of the rest of his team exits the site. But when that A exec doesn't come down and they take just a bit too long of the ramp, there he is to explode upon them. Oh.
We'll call him Storm. Back to the first half, where Twists had a similar crazy moment that also led to Complexity not having the money they needed. That was that little bit of a buffer that FaZe were able to piece together in the first 15. And yet again, late portion of the second half, somebody from FaZe steps up. Leaves Complexity in the cold. They got to talk this one over, and that's exactly what they're doing. Yeah, this is all officially about going to OT. No. And for FaZe, it's about going to map three. Yeah. See what they do. FaZe sitting pretty. The clutch is actually unreal. Brokey with a 1v4 earlier on. I mean, the Olaf 1v2 as well. That's just been pure heroics. Poison lucky to be standing. Forty seconds to spare, and Kerrigan could very well cut off the bomb carrier from the front line of this top mid push. Kerrigan could have also heard the audio cue of a player in A main. Esetag just got tagged by that molly. So I do feel like Phaser on high alert, but what is this? Complexity able to jump across. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They got a timing on Twist, didn't they? <gasps> Twist has to tuck. Brokey goes down. No, Kerrigan only not. the one. Reigns kills irrelevant. Twist, he needs to stop this. They need the multi. They go to Donut. Grab the bomb. Do they know about Twist here? Flash comes out. Support from his teammate. Looking for the spray. Cold zero has got a better gun now, though. Like they turned it into two. One on one now with Olaf. I said they left them in the cold. Little did I realize it's in his hands. Full control from Cold and Olaf needing to step up in a clutch. Cold Zera off the box. Oh. And they're just going to go trudging into the B site. Look at the numbers. They're going for the B rush in round 30. They're going to punish Olaf, and there's nobody here to stop it. Yo, instantly. It's just about not flubbing this oh, to get the plant down. Spray doesn't come through. Doesn't have the angle to put the bullets through. Off by a touch. Doesn't work like that. This isn't supposed to Wait. happen. Complexity with the disrespect. Olaf trying to gather his confidence. In this round, he gets ripped out of it. Blame F has a deep cubby. Molotov on the back lane for JKS to keep this one standing. It's a four versus two for Complexity to get this into OT. They go back to basics. They return to the simplicity of the B site hit. Brokey looking to nail the coffin, but Complexity extend map two. Wow. The snap call to hit the B site. It's exactly what they needed. Now they wish they could have ended it earlier. Did they run it back? Wow, they actually are thinking about it, it looks like. I don't know if they're setting up. FaZe get early. ahead of it. Yes, FaZe have a third player here. Brokey's gonna be boosted on the back line, I believe. They're gonna have the whole site smoked out. As attack takes some damage. Will they try to flash with this tactic or not? Oh, Rain's looking for a nade trajectory. The Molotov's keeping two players they're from in front of it. forward, oh. but it works. Blame F! His hand was forced! And Rain needs to disengage as one falls through smoke. No way! Complexity with the disrespect. Rinse and repeat. Run it back. 16-15 to start OT with a so Olaf dying mid site the previous round is one thing, oh but God, just having fast. no control is another. They're gonna and now this. it's just a misdirection. Oh, they aren't. They're, they're too far away it's from a Donut. Total I don't even think they know this at all. They're so scared. Faze bite on this instantly. Kerrigan's behind the smoke. He'll be able to radio his teammates and let him know that the A site has been compromised, but they are about to get a post plant at a minute 30, and no CTs are in sight. This is insanity. Complexity just, just playing Faze like a fiddle. The only reason they're not saving at this point is because it's OT. The, the retake will attempt to come in. Three from Donut. Opening kill for the CTs. Taken right back. Because it was so easy, because it was so free, there's still utility and abundance. Olaf nearly dead, but it is an edge at least for FaZe. Maintained only momentarily. Falls down onto Brokey. And he's got a player in his sights, but he doesn't have the time to defuse Bomb. And so Complexity shooting for the flawless half in OT. Will they be stopped on these entries? It's gonna happen. Double reinforced on the B site again. And now just a defaulty rounds. Complexity look to have a clean half in OT. Who knew it was as simple as returning to the most ancient play in the book? Hold W. 
rush those bomb sites, play with killer conviction. And for the final round of this OT half, Complexity just going to sit back, relax. They've earned it. Now this is a round where they just want to choke them out. You know, this is a, everyone has to rebuy up. They know that they have a utility advantage. They have complete clarity in terms of the economy in this round. And in situations like that, it feels like this is where complexity are the strongest. These slow rounds are so comfortable in them. We saw Rain in this position last time. Both he gets mollied out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is for free. So many players and now that hit this. Now they're begging for the rotate, but the thing is that FaZe have bid on these rotations too often, mm -hmm. and that now they're probably going to feel uncomfortable making that gamble read once again. But Kerrigan is smart enough to try and go get something back, and he yep. does find space at mid. And luckily, because Kerrigan does it, this should prime Twist to get over to B sooner they wait, later. They wait. Oh. Twist decides to clear corners, and now with Kerrigan getting caught, Twist is kind of anchored to that top mid spot because if they do go A, then it's wide for the taking. Instead, it's going to have to fall out of the shoulders of Rain. He lines up a couple bodies, but it's Poison and Essa tag, and now Twist needs to be the difference maker, the magic oh. maker. Three frags, pulls it out, and Cold Zera picks back Bomb, but there's no time for the plant. FaZe will have the saving grace of his... But that water is cold. And the exhaustion beginning to sink in. They're going to go rapidly to mid. Cold Zera finds a blinded twist. That one is easy. JKS inside of the A site. He has played this spot really well. And I respect JKS for those moments. You give him the smallest space to work with and he can pack a punch. But we'll see if he's even hit in the end. Instead, all of what remains of phase moves into mid. No compensation for that frag. Big player down. Mid up here for phase climb, but no incentive for complexity to get more curious on the map. Especially sitting in Donut, they'll be able to hear stuff like this. And Coltera's gonna let him know that they know. He doesn't care. He just needs to deny the space on A. And then phase will be worried about the rotation over towards B. Nice off angle from S attack. Oh, you don't always see people up here. Tradable though. And he's got just the one. Rain wide swings on it. Blame F at bat and no real rotate close enough yet to lend a helping hand. Can Blame somehow maintain the cross? Yes, because it's not challenged at all. Bomb goes down thanks to the fact that it came through the maze. They're gonna clear that pillar. There's a lot of info here for the CTs. Cold Zero ready to come through a flank. Brokey's only going to be able to watch that flank for as long as the site itself goes unchallenged. Good banked grenade, perhaps? No. Zero damage. Just comes up a little short, and the frag's not there. It's two back the way of FaZe. Now Cold Zera ever closer, creeping in. And just as Brokey turns, Cold Zera with the backstab. Complexity. Lock in 18. Way for FaZe to outgame them here. Oh, he's fully blind. Blame F on the reload. Twist gonna try to chase this. And sure enough, that one's an easy frag back the other direction. We saw Essetag go one and done. I'm loving this look from Cold Zera. You know, we talk about complexity and like the style of the Blame F lurk, but it almost feels like Cold does it so much better. And he slots in really nicely. Think of the way he smoked off Donut last round. Just kept himself at bay from all of their plays until it was his chance to strike. It's going to have to be the all-in. Phase with enough utility to get the execute in. It's a double cave stack between Essetag and Poison, priming Cold Zera to come over on this back lane. Poison playing the pillar, snaps up into Olaf. No trade frag, but they split the smoke, and Twist hits the headshot. Cold Zera goes down because Twist... Oh, he's crisp. And Rain, he's been slain. Brokey with the bomb back sight. 2v2. Plant confirmed oh. and damage through the smoke. Oh, JKS catches it. They know where Twist was. Twist is the reason they got this bomb down. He's the one that made the space and now he needs to close it. It's on the edge of the box if the Jiggle Peak comes through. Oh, they're trying to time it and they do. Complexity. They will retake 419. They will end this in.